this is the little capacitor tester I got. This is a Honey Tech, and let's see, it is a A6013L. This is just a very cheap and expensive capacitor tester. This is kind of like my loaner tester, you know. I, it didn't didn't cost me much, so if I loan it out, uh, I'm not out of fortune. But anyway, it's a good little tool. Uh, I've got a few capacitors here on the bench. Let's look at it and see how it works. Your service disconnect outside, you will need to turn that off. There's a couple of different styles. That's the lever type. Another type is a unfused type disconnect where it has a little knife blade. All right, I have three different capacitors here that we can run a test on. And uh, this one worked on a air conditioner about a two and a half, three ton unit. This was an air compressor and this was on another air compressor. So anyway, you can see that there are some differences in the design and layout of these. Uh, on this, you're going to see a C, which is for common, and that happens to be yellow. And then you have a terminal here that says fan, that's brown, and here you, it uh, says herm, that's the equivalent of saying compressor and that is uh, blue. So before you even start touching it, after you've disconnected power to your unit and uh, you're getting prepared to disconnect these capacitors, you want a screwdriver that has an insulated handle. This one has got that yellow plastic that they put on screwdrivers forever. And in addition, it's got this insulated grip. So you can just take it short across every which way and that way it'll dissipate any uh, electricity that this capacitor may have stored. Uh, it can uh, hurt you if you touch this uh, and it hadn't been discharged. So be sure and short it out and then it's going to be safe. This, you do the same way, you'd short it out. This one, this style, you do it the same way. And these are just three examples. There's a lot of different capacitor designs out there. But on this little uh, Honey Tech, what I'm going to do is this capacitor in uh, microfarads, because what it says, I hope you can see that, 145 to 174 MFD, and that means microfarads. So this should be in the range of 145 to 174. So this is three digits, so I go up here to microfarads on 200, and so we hook this up. And look at this one. This it's not uh, it hadn't failed in an open. Uh, this one is going way over its microfarad range. So there is something internally going on. And so you could have a failure like this where the microfarad is just way out of range. And that, that more or less tells you that something has gone wrong inside this capacitor. This little two-prong uh, capacitor, it is 15 microfarads, and we've already discharged it. We can hook it up, and there it is. Let's see. I could change it right there. Uh, let's go. Boom, boom. And there we go, that's 14 microfarads. Uh, if I go another scale up, it's just 14.9 to 15 
it just kind of jumps around and so this is a good capacitor this would not fail here's this one which you see it and you go oh my gosh what's what but C is the common you hook that up this is the fan and just to refresh this is 45 and 5 microfarads so we hook common and fan and we're getting right at 5 microfarads and that makes sense because the AC condenser fan that this capacitor was powering was working so the compressor should be getting the 45 microfarads and what is it getting it's just going all over the scale so we can say reasonably sure that this has failed this capacitor has failed on the herm or compressor side and so you would just need to replace it but anyway guys with this extreme heat that we're in right now here in Texas and I'm sure where you're at your summers are just as bad uh, you need to know a little bit about an AC uh, capacitor and this will be really helpful number one turn off the power number two be sure after the power is shut off and you get to the capacitor discharge it before you even touch it use the insulated screwdriver then after that then you can start using your little meter and that will tell you something really quick on uh, if it's good or bad and uh, a lot of your local hardware stores carry a lot of these capacitors I know uh, not to drop any names but uh, a little local store here uh, they are a little hardware store and they carry all of them so anyway good tip check your local hardware stores so I appreciate y'all coming by y'all be safe this is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here